Senator Feinstein, a question about this controversy that's arisen around Apple. Do you believe Apple should abide by this judge's order to give the FBI access to the telephone of the San Bernardino terrorist, even if it means, as Apple argues, that this is creating a technical capacity that eventually will almost certainly fall into the hands of the wrong people uh, who will abuse it? Yes, I do. A federal magistrate judge has received a probable cause warrant and so stated that Apple should produce this information. Additionally, this particular iPhone was owned by the county, and the county has given its permission. Additional to that, this was a terrorist attack in my state. Fourteen people were killed in this attack. And if there is more evidence on a cell phone of other attacks possibly pending, of conspiracy that led to this attack, the Justice Department should know it. So to have a system, which actually is almost replacing telephones for these kinds of conversations, that you cannot, with good evidence, with a probable cause warrant, get the information is a huge mistake. Senator Burr, who is chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, I'm the vice chair, we're both working on a bill. I would hope that bill would not be necessary. I hope Apple would understand the seriousness of this request. And I have no doubt that to deny the request would likely bring on law, uh, to change law so that this can be uh, done. Um, we are in jeopardy if you cannot, through proper evidence submitted by a probable cause warrant, be able to open these systems. Even if it means, as Apple argues, that this is creating a technical capacity that will eventually fall into the wrong hands. Oh, I don't believe that's necessarily true. All right, Senator Dianne Feinstein, thank you. Thank you.